gluteus medius muscle. The gluteus medius lies sandwiched in between the larger gluteus maximus and smaller and deeper gluteus minimus. It has a fan-shaped structure that can be divided into the anterior and posterior sections. This muscle contracts to keep the pelvis level during the swing phase of walking or when standing on one leg. Here are the landmarks for the gluteus medius. We have the ilium, the sacrum, the femur, and the hip joint. The origin of the gluteus medius lies under the crest of the ilium, and the insertion is on the greater trochanter of the femur. Contraction of the gluteus medius muscle produces abduction of the thigh at the hip and medial rotation of the thigh by its anterior fibers. The gluteus minimus and tensor fascia lata are synergistic during abduction, and the gluteus minimus and tiafidal are synergistic during medial rotation. The adductor magnus opposes the gluteus medius during abduction and the piriformis and gluteus maximus oppose it during medial rotation. Clinical findings for gluteus medius trigger points. Dr. Travell calls this muscle the lumbago or low back pain muscle. Clients with active trigger points here will commonly complain of low back pain in the sacral, gluteal, and SI joint areas. The pain is typically associated with walking, and they may also have difficulty sleeping on the affected side. Some activating factors for gluteus medius trigger points include running, sudden falls or sports injuries, standing on one foot for a long period of time, walking or running in sand, true SI joint dysfunction, intramuscular injection, and sitting on a wallet. The referred pain from active trigger points in the quadratus lumborum muscle will frequently activate gluteus medius trigger points, and piriformis and gluteus minimus trigger points are functionally related to the gluteus medius trigger points. Clients with active trigger points in the glute medius are commonly misdiagnosed with sciatica, SI joint dysfunction, and trochanteric bursitis. To locate and release the gluteus medius trigger points, start by placing your client in the standard side lying position. Their top leg should be bent, bottom leg straight, and arms crossed. Stand behind the client at waist level and begin by placing your hand on their hip. Use your fingertips to follow the hip contour down towards the spine until you feel the bony prominence known as the posterior superior iliac spine, or PSIS. This is your landmark. The medial gluteus medius trigger point lies about one inch outside the PSIS and one inch under the lip of the iliac crest. This trigger point refers pain across the belt line to the sacroiliac joint and into the lower lumbar spine region. To release this trigger point, you're going to use a thumb over thumb technique and apply short, slow stripping strokes about one to two inches over the trigger point in a direction towards the client's hip joint. Remember, don't move your contact over the skin. Move the skin over the trigger point. Each micro stripping stroke should take about six seconds to complete. Be sure to use client feedback to gauge your pressure and repeat the stroke 10 times. As an alternative, you can use an elbow to release this trigger point. Walk around to the other side of the table and face your client. Lean over and use your elbow to apply pressure to the trigger point. Hold the pressure for six to eight seconds using client feedback 
and then repeat three to four times. Next, we'll locate and release the middle gluteus medius trigger point. This trigger point lies one to two inches lateral to the medial trigger point, just under the apex of the iliac crest. Notice the referred pain pattern, which includes the entire gluteal region. Release this trigger point using either the thumb stripping technique or elbow pressure release technique as previously described. Now we'll check for the presence of the lateral trigger point. This infrequently present trigger point lies one to two inches lateral to the middle trigger point and refers pain to the sacral region. Although I rarely see this in practice, I do check for it. If present, release it with the same technique. Standing behind the client, start at the iliac crest, follow the contour of the hip all the way down to the PSIS. Here's the PSIS. The medial glute medius trigger point is one to two inches lateral to the PSIS, just under the lip of the iliac crest. Here I'm using a supported thumb stripping technique to release the trigger point. You'll want to apply pressure on one side of the trigger point and move the contact in the skin over the trigger point to release it. Remember, the entire strip is only one to two inches in length. Repeat this stroke eight to ten times. Moving on to the middle gluteus medius trigger point, this one lies three to four inches lateral to the PSIS landmark and one to two inches lateral to the medial gluteus medius trigger point. Here it is, just under the apex of the iliac crest. I'm going to use an elbow contact and place my opposite hand across the table to support my weight, apply pressure and hold for six to eight seconds, and then shift my weight to the opposite arm. Apply pressure again using client feedback to gauge your pressure. Repeat this procedure four times.